if, again, a camera was to follow you around throughout your day, would we be inspired by the person you are behind your social media? What is up, beautiful people? I had a, a download come to me. I was just doing some writing on the whiteboard and this popped in my head and I felt really inspired to share it. So it's about checking in with ourselves and really just doing a self audit, as I like to call it, a self audit of how much integrity we are living with. With social media, it has become very easy for us to pull out our phones and snap these perfect moments of our life. And that's beautiful. That's incredible that we get to share those moments. But what I see being a downside to this, and I'm talking from you know my experience supporting my clients who are stuck in this feeling of not being good enough because they're seeing other people's posts and feeling like their life doesn't measure up. Now, this is a very broad conversation because we can then think about how if you are being triggered by other people's posts and you're feeling like you're not good enough in comparison, it's not the other people's posts, it's actually something within you. That's just, that's that's another topic. But what I do want to remind everyone is for, as individuals, it's very important that we check in with ourselves and just assess how we are looking at social media. It's a topic I'm very passionate about because I see people being consumed by it. I see people who are building businesses, doing their best to put themselves out there, but they're constantly looking at these other people who seem to have it all together and who seem to have everything aligning for them. And it seems like everything these people touch turns to gold and they get stuck in that story. And it completely derails them. It completely zaps their energy to the point where they just don't feel like showing up because they're they're looking at where they are and they're comparing it to where they are now. They're, or rather, they're looking at where the experts are, if you want to call them that, and they're comparing themselves to that, which is really just putting those people on a pedestal and forgetting how important and how unique your life is. And it's not from a place of, oh, we're, we're all so important. We're, you know, we're all, we, we all deserve everything for nothing sort of, sort of mentality. I'm talking about, you know, you, your life matters. Your life is, is really, uh, just as important as anyone else's and the dreams that are on your heart are just as, just as important as anyone else's. And when we diminish ourselves in comparison to other people, it erodes, it erodes our self-confidence. So that's one part of the conversation. I just want you to check in with yourself. How are you going to social media? Do you get stuck in the comparison game? Because it is important to remind ourselves of this from time to time, just like our car needs to go into the mechanic from time to time to have a wheel alignment. We've got to align our perceptions and how we're looking at life and the filters we're viewing things through. The other part to this that I felt really inspired to just bring to your awareness is, are you, again, living with integrity? Are you actually practicing what you preach? If you were to say, be on the Truman Show, like let's just pretend for a moment that people can actually see more of your life. Is your life actually demonstrating the things that you are saying are important to you, say on social media? I, I just, it, it, it gets me, uh, really grinds my gears to, to quote Peter Griffin if that's family guy nerd from the past there for you. You know, that really grinds my gears. Um, grinds my gears when I see people who are, they're, they're going imposing with these expensive cars or in these particular locations and doing all this stuff to really just make look like make it look like their life is so together. Um, and they do that just to essentially get people into, like really just get people's money and to get people to follow them and like them. And that's coming from a really empty place. Now, for sure, if you're out traveling and you take a photo in a beautiful location, I'm not saying you have to own the hotel before you take a photo in it or anything, but it's just important that we check in and we make sure that we're coming from a place, like a healthy place, where we're not just needing other people's significance. And in needing other people's significance, we're buying into this game where we're just trying to make our life look like this perfect one-dimensional uh, piece of art that just has no flaws to it. It's important that we're not playing that game because, you know, it, when this happens with multiple people, it does have a ripple effect. It does create confusion for people, especially young people who, who are growing up right now and, and coming onto social media and seeing these poses in front of expensive cars and all this stuff that's, it's, it's really just, um, you know, uh, just a crock of shit, really, because it, distorts people's mind and distorts people's perceptions of what this is actually about. So while I, I don't I don't diss having really beautiful cars and beautiful things in your space, I do just want you to check in with yourself and, and make sure that 
the place you are coming from when you're posting on social media is a place of wanting to impact other people's lives. Are you someone who's there just to, are you adding to the distraction and the noise or are you actually adding something of value? That's really what I'm, what I'm getting at here. And again, if people to, were to look at your life, is it actually demonstrating the, the principles, the strategies, the tools, the, the things that you say are important? And are you actually living by the content that you might follow? So what I mean by this is I have a lot of people who follow my content and, you know, sometimes I have the, the opportunity to connect with them and they've been following me for years, but they've never applied a single thing of my content. They've been liking it, liking it, liking it which is fine, but imagine if they'd actually been using it. Social media is a tool. Social media is a real gift, but it's also a double-edged sword, where if you're not going to social media with intention, and what I mean by that is not just going to social media to be entertained. Are you going to social media to connect with people? Are you going to social media to create something greater in your life? Because if not, what are you doing? You're probably just being consumed by it and you're being caught up in the algorithms that are just so fantastic at feeding you certain information that it thinks you you will value based off what you've searched on in the past or searched in the past. And it keeps you in this loop. And that's really dangerous because, you know, as human beings, we're meant to grow. We're not meant to just see the same things again and again and again. We're meant to continually expand and open our mind up to new opportunities. So heaps of ideas in this in this video. Again, it's a bit of a rant. I hope something's resonated with you. Are you living by what you are teaching other people or sharing with other people and by the principles that you say are important to you? Are you living with integrity? If, again, a camera was to follow you around throughout your day, would we be inspired by the person you are behind your social media? Food for thought, big love, and like, comment this, on this video if it's resonated with you. Talk soon.